special when you can move to a new place and form good friendships in such a short time. Most of the friends we made are also traveling with their work from different parts of the country. It's unique because each person brings something diverse to the group, and in the end we can all come together and have a great time. So when two of our friends invited us to their wedding in Cambria, we couldn't miss it. We packed up our camper and hit the road. Cambria was absolutely stunning, and what a better way to kick off the California wedding than with ocean kayaking. <laughs> we have to hit this straight, so we will flip. Uh -huh, it's brewing behind us. You feel it pushing us? Oh, did, did you have a wine? No. We're good. What's up? We got a warm shower sitting right up there. Yeah, no kidding. Turn that water heater on. Get you a hot shower and a pizza. Yes. And that's exactly what we did. We fired up the propane, took some hot showers, and cooked a pizza right in the parking lot. It's so nice to be able to have all the comforts of our home wherever we go. The rest of the day was spent hanging out with friends on the beach and getting ready for the wedding the next morning. I met Nicole at hospital orientation while on travel assignment in Fort Bragg. She introduced Mike and I to her husband Steve, and we've all been good friends since. We're so happy for them and happy we got to be a part of their wedding day and their after party. A few weeks after the wedding, Steve and Nicole met us in Mendocino for some free diving. Mike and I didn't have any dive gear suited for the Pacific Ocean, so we headed to the local dive shop in Fort Bragg. So we're on our way to go free diving for the first time. So we just picked up our dive gear, got the wetsuits and the full booties, the hood, everything. So can't wait to see what it's like to go free diving. Yep, seven mil thick, so should be pretty warm, I hope. The water temperature that day was about 50 degrees. 
We were told that any water below 60 could cause hyperventilation and shock within an hour without dive gear. The dive and snorkel gear were only 40 bucks a piece for the day, so it was totally worth it. So clear! Oh, there's even like a little beach over there. We made our way over to the beach and walked into the water from there. After just a short swim, we entered a sea cave, which felt like a whole nother world. Mike and I cannot say enough that we are so thankful for the friends we've made while traveling. Friends really do make the difference. Oh, it's a piece of cake. Never mind. See, I got excited. My mind immediately went to alcohol. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's how it goes. <laughs> I need all the sun I can get. I don't know what to do with my hands. Right now. I, don't, I don't know what uh, the conditions were very good. <laughs> Nicole.